In this video, we're going to continue our exploration of the Play Framework using Scala by looking at how we can generate a web page using Play properly. So previously, we saw that we could use Play as a kind of generic file server, and we made a little HTML page, and this worked, but that's really not the proper way to use Play. Okay. The proper way to use Play, and we saw this somewhat was when we brought up our web server and we just went to kind of the main page. So let's remind ourselves to bring up the web server. We, use, we run SBT and then inside of SBT we do run and this will bring it up on port 9000 uh, on our local machine and if you can't remember that it prints out right here. If we go to our web browser and we go to localhost 9000. When we refresh this, it actually goes through and does a compile, and this is the page that brings up. Now, the in more interesting question is, what happened to bring up that page? Well, the first thing that happens, so the web browser sends a GET request, an HTTP request, to the web server, and it we didn't give any path, so it's just looking for slash. Now this routes file gets compiled to Scala code that will run through all of the routes and the first one that matches the route that's being looked for is the one that will be executed. So in this case we did a get with no path so that's slash and the routes file says that should execute this code here controllers application dot index. So that's an application here application extends abstract controller it's inside of the package controllers and it has a method inside of it called index. So when we hit enter on the, the uh, URL bar on the web browser, it sent that git request, it went through the routes file, and it came to this method. This method is an action, and all of the things that are going to return values for us uh, in play are going to be actions. And it results in an OK, so if you're familiar with HTTP, OK is one of the response types, that's the one you generally want, but it could also be things like redirect uh, or bad request. Okay, there, are, there are multiple and, and play has values defined for these. And then it says views HTML index here. Well, that goes to this index page. It passes in a string to it, and it's this shared message. And then inside of here, this calls main. Well, main is another view. It takes two arguments, a title and a content. The title is here, and the content is everything inside of here. You know, main is curried using the, the Scala capabilities for currying. And we get to pass it two separate arguments, and the second argument can be inside of curly braces. Technically, the first one could have been inside of curly braces too because it only had one argument. But this is kind of the standard way of doing this. That allows us to put any shared code inside of main. All of our pages will automatically have that in there. So main is basically a template. And you could have multiple of these templates if, if you want it. So what I want to do in this video is to create a new page. Now the page I'm going to create is part of what I'm going to use as a running example. My running example is a is very common one in tutorials for for building websites it's a to-do list or a task list so this to start off with i just want to make a page that displays some tasks okay but i kind of want to do it the proper way so that will have us adding routes and i'm not going to put it inside of our application controller because it turns out we're going to evolve this example this first one is going to be you know version 1 is very much web 1.0 we're going to add database to it we are going to make it web 2.0 with with ajax calls we'll potentially do it with react as well and i want each of those to live inside of their own controller to kind of break things up and make it easier for you to see each application separately so i'm going to go ahead and under controllers I'm going to make a new class. We'll call it task list one. So I'm making a new controller. It's just a class inside of here. To make it actually work the way we want, I need to bring in some of the stuff from applications. So for example, 
In order to do the juice injection, which is what Play uses by default for dependency injection, it needs to be a singleton. You can see that's unhappy. Well, this import is bringing in the elements we need for the dependency injection. I also need to actually inject the controller components and to extend abstract controller so that it actually is a controller. So right in here, I can paste that. These two need the other imports. We don't need the shared messages because we aren't utilizing shared. Right now I'm not using the Scala.js. When we get to Scala.js, I might use the, the shared area more. And now this compiles. And I need to have a method in here that we're going to go to. So how about I just call it uh, task list. And this task list, as with the index here, it needs to be an action. Now, play actually has kind of a built-in action for you that's called to do, so that you can mark when you haven't gotten something done yet. And I've, I find that very helpful. So let's go to our routes, and we need to have a route for this. I want this to be a get route, and how about we call it task list one, and I want it to execute the code in controllers dot task list one dot task list. Okay, we've written a little bit of code here. Let's see if this works. I'm a big fan of do a little bit of stuff, check to see if it runs. So we go over, we refresh. Now I'm just refreshing the main page. So this is just compiling. This will tell me whether or not there was an error. There wasn't. But if I want to see our page, I need to go to the route task list one. And sure enough, here's a little page that says to do. Okay, that's nice. I don't want it to say to do though. Let's make it say something at least a little bit more interesting. So as I said, these need to be actions. And we'll see there are kind of multiple forms of this later. And an action right now, this is unhappy because they have to have the result in them. And as I said, this could be something like a redirect or a bad request. Most of the time, it's going to be an OK. And that OK can be wrapped around multiple different types of results. Let's start off with just a simple string. OK, so there we got a simple string. It popped up. And this gives us kind of a, a start to where we're going. Now, I don't want this to be a simple string. I want this to actually be a view that we've generated. We'll do that in the next video. So for now, we're going to stop. We have a new route. It points to a new controller. And we have a method in here that produces a result that we want. We want to take that simple result from a string to actually be a full web page. And that's what we'll do in our next video.